Hello and welcome to Hey Team TV. So, it's Sunday, hope you're all well. Thought I would take everyone on a bit of a walk around on how we are going at the moment. So, we're going to go have a look at all the stacks, where we are, what's here, what's gone, and how much we made this year. So, stack one, which is in the beginning of the first cut, which is a little bit wet. So it's only a small stack, but it's been separated. Then we've got stack two. This is all in the home yard. Stack two, which is very dry, very good quality haylage, also showcased in the purple wrap. And then we have stack three down here, which also got done as well, which is where we finished off in the last harvest video. And then in the background, yes, there's a boat different story uh, not mine don't want a boat anyway bales over there are what we call cattle grade so aren't good enough for going to the equine side of things or small holders or getting sold off farm we keep them for ourselves where we can just sort of bin it now time to jump into the Polaris and let's have a go and have a look around let's sing a song full of hope full of pain why don't you sing along, my friend? For it's our last refrain. Forever young, ever strong, ever brave. Memories like this never end. No, they don't fade away. So when I'm gone, when I'm gone, I'll be right there, close to the sun. Keep holding. As you can see, Adam's passed through here, looking fairly nice. Here, I'm at farm two. Let's have a look around. So the last time you guys saw the hay barn, these were all full, uh, completely full. We have had a massive, massive run on hay at the moment. Uh, we always take the fronts out on principle we quite often get west rain come in which sort of blows in so to stop the head in the front getting wrecked we clear it out um, as you can see this is old cattle building as i've said to many of you before those of you that are new welcome to the old cattle building um, this part of the shed over here down the end we've got a lean to below which i'm going to show you in a minute where i last year put the boom of the telehandler through the roof. But what I didn't know until this year, with rain that's come in, that I cracked the panels going all the way up to the center point of this shed. So if you come in with me a second. So in here now, we've got a crack in the roof, which is letting water in. Now on today, that you can't see it because we've had dry weather for, I know, 12 hours, it's all dried out. But we've had a few bales damaged from water getting through, getting in. So we're cleaning this side out. One, we can put machinery in, but two, we can get on with getting that roof fixed either before Christmas or just after. Okay, so again, there's the skylight I went and put in, right there, which, is got to be well repaired ASAP um, so not just that point but you can see there's a panel right next to it that's cracked which was all done at the same point and also the one that we found recently because I may have knocked this beam there's a crack going up the roof panels all the way up through the shed now the problem with that bit is if it had been in the peak which is the, the, the peaks, the high point of the, the shape of the roof. If it had been the top point, it wouldn't be too much of a problem, but it's in the valley. So it's in the bottom, which is collecting the water and just letting it in. So down here, which I can sort of show properly, it's all getting wet. And like, this is the last bale, which I haven't taken out and sorted yet. Um, 
which has got a bit of damage on it, which I don't know, we'll be chucking the cat or something like that. But, you know, yeah, you know, summertime, we're rushing, we're all trying to do a million things. Um, it happens. But again, this shed, we cleared straight down through this line, that's all being reprocessed. Everything up there is being repro reprocessed. And it's just, it's ongoing. But at least now we can get in, try and get that fixed before next year and like get the or get the sheds watertight again because that would be a lot easier and we wouldn't have to rush around trying to get through different parts of the barns. Apologies about the wind. Now, this yard, which is predominantly our ryegrass yard at farm two, here was a stack. Here, this was a stack that's sold and gone. This stack, which is big, five and a half foot, six foot. Um, this stack was up flush with the sh corner of the shed, as you can see here. That much already is gone, and we're only October at the moment. Then we got two other four foot stacks at the back, which um, are slightly different qualities. So they've been split. Usually if we get big runs on um, bales coming in and the weather's a bit more balanced, this would usually be one stack. But because it hasn't been this year and we've like had to do bits, or everything in bits and pieces, we've had to split the stacks up so we know where each batch is. So we don't run into problems as we're going through the stacks. We know exactly where we've left it. So this is actually a two year old stack. We made this last season, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's lovely stuff. We just sort of left it here, um, especially this year when the yields have been down a little bit. That stack there is gonna help us out massively. That stack is also one of the second to last stacks we've done <coughs> of second cut alage, uh, which we've just started taking the couple off the front from. So this is, the other barn of hay, which we haven't got into yet. So this one is waiting to go. We'll clear the other ones first before we get to this one. Then we've got another two stack, sort of four foot. The bit in the back is two, or was made not this summer, the summer before. But again, it's not the end. We don't find it the end of the world for anything to ever be like lying around. Um, it's better to have it in stock than not have it in. So touch wood on this hollow head we have not ever run out we've always managed to sell stuff we've all, always managed to keep surplus in for no matter how big we've got so far we're not interested in growing too fast we're happy growing the rate we're growing and and supplying at the rate we're supplying this is the Hades stack I'm working at the moment the Hades stack was out here which is two bales off a stack that is right behind you guys, which we'll show you in a minute. And then the stack by the shed, which was about out flush with the end of the shed. That one has got six bales tucked in around the corner, but that is all gone out in the last month and a half. So it's all going a little bit mad at the moment. Um, we've had really quiet summer, but everything is picking up now. So here's the stack that was behind you guys a minute ago. This stack and this stack are both five bales wide. Um, this one will be getting to as soon as I finish this one, which is going to be somewhere in uh, early December. It's surprising how fast things start getting cleared um, the further into winter we get. So that's what I mean by the last six. But now we're going to go cross country down to farm three and I'll show you guys what we got there as well.
right. Finally, down at farm three. Here's a compost, which you'll get used to seeing very soon. There's this stack left here, which is cattle grade. Um, it'll be gone this winter. And then there was a stack there, but that one's gone too. So all's good, getting through stuff at the moment. It's still, you know, it's early October. There's loads of time to go, but we're starting to clear quite a lot of bales already, which is all a good thing. Finally, the last stacks of farm three. So here we have a pasture type mix over on this side. And then this side is again, a ryegrass mix. So that's what we've been doing all summer. Uh, this yard isn't quite as full as we'd like it. Um, usually we like it to be sort of up along flush with this hedge line. Hasn't done that this year, but all in all, we're quite happy with everything we've got. Uh, next year will be another year. I'm sure we'll sort of like get bigger crops then. Um, across the board, we're about two bales the acre under. Um, two bales I'm talking four foot as an average not the five and a half foot that we do which is about two four foot so yeah we're quite happy um, just thought as this is Sunday um, and I haven't managed to put two videos out this week because we've had just lots of things going on I haven't had ch chance to pick up a camera I thought I'd take you on a little bit of a tour on what we achieved this summer the stacks, the yards, the sheds, and you guys can have a little look around. So, but again, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe, ring that bell. We would love to start hitting a thousand likes per video. That'd be amazing. We can only do that with your help. And no, you older guys, remember, you don't have to be subscribed to press like. You can just press it. Um, you can also find us on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. And we've also got merch, which is on eBay. If you want to go have a check, check out that, just uh, type in Hey Team TV. I'll also leave a link in below like I usually do. And until next time, have a great next week. I love farming. Adam loves farming. See you in the next one.